Hey everybody, welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Uh, <laughs> you'll notice that we look a little different, and uh, we might, some things might sound a little different just for this episode. Uh, somebody gifted me the DLC options for this game, and there's some outfits that you can wear. Um, and you can also choose to have the original Resident Evil 2 sounds uh, replacing. So like, you hear the, like, the beeps and stuff? I don't know. We'll, we're going to try it for one episode and uh, go from there. But uh, I thought it would just be something fun to kind of show off. Um, also, the uh, Samurai Edge is like this DLC weapon. 15-shot um, capacity, 9mm handgun. Which I guess, you know, you could argue if we took off the pieces of this and used this, it would be good to use. Um, but we're not going to use that just because we have all these add-ons here. So, All right. Let's, uh, let's get to work, shall we? I'm interested in seeing what other sounds are changed besides menu stuff, but... Looks like we're dropping down there. Yeah, okay, let's go. We took care of the alligator thing. That's a pleasant smell. At one point. I should actually check this pile, too. Oh, yep. Hello. <laughs> the beeping is so weird. And of course, I check the map all the time. Look, oh, jeez. What is this? Okay, so we need some type of tool to operate this. I don't even know what... I guess maybe this would control this door here. Let's see how it's marked. T-bar handle slot. Of course we have a split ahead. Both look like dead ends, but this one looks slightly more dead, as far as ends are concerned. What was that? Where did that come from? Hello. Are you serious? He's dead. USS Digital Video Cassette, Operation Nest Wrecker. Um, Ada was talking about, well, if you're not going to help me, I'll just go directly to the nest. So, I guess, I don't know if that's like just like a central hub or something that... Look at that. You know there's no way that he isn't falling from there, right?
Okay. Okay. Treatment facility. Could this key be? <laughs> Electronic part. It's got a. Is that a. Um, that's like a chest. Uh oh. Huh. It's got a chess piece on it. The head of this chess theme plug is shaped like a rook. Yeah. Okay. And I guess we can use that to lower this thing if we want, but let's take it for now. Or not. We can go back down to the walkway, but that doesn't help, which means, I guess, for now, we are going to put this in. And we'll head down that other side. We already have one, but we'll take it. It is so dark. This is just the other side of this thing. Or... Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. Here's another one of these deals. Um... Okay, I did this once before and I was like, oh, I'll just eat this herb or whatever, but I think I combine it with these. Fully heals, restores, plus reduces damage taken, and guards against poison. So, like, pretty nice. Are you serious? I kind of like to live by the rule where if you don't look at it, it can't hurt you. Okay, this we definitely would like to take. Um, I'm going to get rid of that for now. Look at, what is that? Oh god. Oh god! Whoa! What the hell? What? Whoa! Well, there's the poison. I don't know how long this lasts. Oh, 
this is so bad. Damn it. Holy moly. Whoa. That's no joke. Let's get to that knife back. <laughs> I saw that thing there and I was like, I know that's a problem. But for a minute too, I was like, well, we might be getting past it. What the? Yeah, I wonder if this is a section where we're going to get there at some point. It would have been nice to be able to take these guys down now. Oh, that was nice. Quit moving! I think we can handle him later. That was terrifying. Thank God we had grenades, though. I'm not sure if the second one hit, but... Hmm. So I think this is being marked because of this thing. What is that in the bottom... What is that in the bottom right that's showing? I don't recall seeing that before. Is that like a... Oh, you know what that is? That's the reduced damage thing. Car. Interesting. That's the reduced damage because of the um, herb mixture that we took. Hello. All right. Well, that was a good. Uh, that was a good example of how that works. So. Is it ever dark? I love it. <laughs> I love it. Is this? Yeah, okay, this is where she had the confrontation uh, and Ada got back there. Where'd she go? And now we're probably gonna find her there. Copy of emails to Umbrella Headquarters, Director Owens. The, there are alarms going off all over Nest. I don't know what's going on, but I can hear gunfire and I can't reach my section chief. We're trapped. Please send help ASAP. Director Owens, the situation here is dire. Nest has been contaminated with the virus. It's unbelievable. The failsafe system didn't activate at all. Is this the work of outsiders? I can't imagine who else it would be, but why? Mayor and Kim are dead. I can't stop coughing. Why won't you answer me? Director Owens, you. It was you all along. Okay. Okay. I don't like the sound of that. There she is. Ada. Oh. I'm coming, Ada. Save Ada, okay. Nice. We got a sewers map. Hello, everything. 
Some ribbons. Sewer Company's pamphlet. Greetings from the CEO. Thank you for your interest in Knight's Construction Company. Over the past 20 years, we've had the honor to work on the sewer systems of some of your country's greatest cities, while never losing sight of our two core principles of playfulness and superior industrial design. Okay. At KCC, we believe that just because your work is subterranean doesn't mean our designs have to be subpar. More refined than a queen, more polished than a knight, and as pleasant as a pawn, chess references. Our work is sure to bring great victory to everyone involved. May we all meet in the field someday. Knights Construction, Company CEO, World Chess Alliance Honorary Member, Raccoon Chess Club Honorary Advisor, and Fisher Chess Lovers Guild Honorary Director, R.B. Fisher. Uh-huh. those rats spread it that is some great detective work yep look at this okay we got more chess pieces where are these leading to oh wait they're not linking up with these boxes they're going into the ground Is there any indicator on these? Like, this one's the, a knight. Oh, this one has... Oh, I see. This one requires a knight plug. Alright, let's see what they got going on here. Unlocking the U-area door. I lost the thing that tells you how to unlock the door to the U-area during that last mad dash of a transfer. I know you have to stick one plug into each terminal, but if anyone remembers which plug goes where, please be a pal and share by posting the info on this board. Pretty sure the Rook and Knight are on the same wall. Bishop and Queen aren't next to each other. Queen and Rook were opposite each other too. Okay. Uh, let me grab these all. The thing is, is I'm feeling like we might need that other piece, right, from before. Um, let's take our red and... Let's... Okay, yeah, let's do this. Um, take one of these. Combine these. And this one says it's the pawn. So I'm going to keep that there. This one says it's the knight. Which is this one. Whoops. If it's to be trusted. Okay. So the rook and the knight are on the same wall. Bishop and queen aren't next to each other. Queen and rook were opposite each other too. So that means the rook has to go somewhere over here. And if it says queen and rook were opposite each other, that means the rook has to go here because the queen would go there because that slot's already taken. And that would mean that Bishop and Queen are not next to each other. So this would be Rook, 
bishop and queen are not next to each other, which means this would be the bishop, I think. Now, what I'm wondering is... We're going to have to get that other piece back somehow at some point. Um, and I wonder if... If these will work. Like if I need like a dummy one or something to get that uh, rook from the other lock. I'll carry it with me for now. This looks like we might want to be saving. <laughs> this looks like we might want to be saving. I'm going to go against my judgment. I see a guy over there. There's the plant we saw from the ladder. Oh, there it is. There it is. T-shaped valve handle. ID wristband required for cable car entry. Of course. Delivery receipt. The item below has been delivered to the location specified in your order. Heat resistant safe number one. The combination is written on the side of the safe in chalk. Please remember to erase it before you use the safe. Oh man. We haven't seen a safe, I don't think. Okay, but the next safe that we see, we can look at the side of it, apparently. I can maybe check that room again, but... Could be a bit misleading because of, um... Those plugs not being done. Oh, here it is. <laughs> yep. All right, two left, twelve right, eight left. I'm pretty sure this soundtrack is from the original as well when we change those uh, those sounds over. Pretty good. Ooh! Shotgun stock. Very nice. It's coming together. So if I head back down... We don't have to fully commit, I don't think, but... That's... You know what? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go save. Um, a buddy of mine was playing this recently, and he's playing on normal, and I was bugging him. I was like, "You gotta play on hardcore, man, because these ink ribbons they make a big difference." And I firmly believe that. Like, it's so much more tense when you're like, "Oh, I could die at any time and have to redo this whole thing." Are you kidding me? Not interested. Uh, so we are going to do this. I'm going to store these. Keep this. Keep this. Although I don't... 
You know, is the pawn even mentioned here? Hold on. The thing is... The pawn's not even mentioned. But... It does appear like I'm gonna need to use all six, so... I don't know. We've got the bishop, we got the knight, we got the pawn in our pocket, and we've got the rook that's in that other door. Um, and then maybe behind those valve slots will be other pieces. If that would be my guess. Um, but I'll save here, I'll wrap it up, and when we come back, uh, we'll head out that side door and see if we can't, um, see if we can't help Ada as well. Okay, thank you guys so much. See you soon. Bye for now.